Hi, I'm your host Andy Buchanan and this week on TIA we are back with the Smith brothers, Alex and David. Having shot two beautiful buffalo bulls, we have only a day and a half to move to the famed Mahenya hunting concession where PH York Marais has the unenvious task of trying to find us a big elephant bull in only a day and a half. Anyway, that's enough chitter chatter, let's see what happens. Press play! Swift Bullet Company presents This is Africa. Closed captioning is provided by 5H Shooting Sports. So we've just come to Mahenya and we've met the chief. And what normally happens is once you come into a communal area like this, you have to get a blessing from the chief himself and his spirit media, mediator. So now we're just going in to bless all the ref with the weapons. He'll tell us that the hunt's going to go forward and everything, and everything's going to be safe and everything. So we're going to go in now. This is a very important part of the safari, and uh, it just gets all the trackers in the right mood. Everybody feels positive that we're going to be successful in the hunt, and it's uh, yeah, it's a big part of African culture to do that. <laughs> So everyone's feeling good, feeling positive. Let's see what happens. Mahenya communal area is situated in the northern section of Gonorizoa National Park on the Mozambique border. And the boundary between the hunting area and the national park is a river called the Savi. Its the widest point is about two and a half kilometers, close to three k's. And it's full of islands, 40 islands in a seven kilometer stretch on Mahenya, between the park and the, and the mainland. And you walk into there, and it feels like you're in a completely different country. You could be in the Cameroon, in the forest. We've just come across an enormous track with a smooth, uh, smooth sort of back to the track, which shows an old bull. So I'm told by the PH. Uh, I'm not that experienced at hunting elephant, but man, am I excited! This is unbelievable riverine area, and now this. I mean, this is just incredible to see the amount of elephant movement here, and obviously, hopefully, get a big one. The amount of elephant bull movement is unbelievable. The tracks that we're seeing are incredible. I think we're in for a good day and a half. <laughs> so this is a big bull that's come in and he's on his way out to one of the islands here. He's got some really big, big deep lugs, which is quite a nice, nice indication, quite exciting. So these big trees with all these pods is an apple ring acacia or acacia albida. And that's what, they're very high in protein this time of the year and that's what the elephant and the buffalo and the eland are trying to come through and pick up on the ground. And the bulls will try and push them and shake them and then all the game comes underneath and feeds. But that's a major drawing draw point for this area, for elephant. So yeah, there's many factors that could lead to a successful hunt and knowing what those bulls or cows are, are feeding on and their movements. That's a bull duck. That's been constipated. When you're hunting elephant, uh, having an idea of what they could be feeding, eating all palm fronds. Types of trees that are coming into leaf, fruits. In Mahenya, for example, where the cows move, the bulls tend to go in the opposite direction. Where the water is, check the nyati. Dagaboy. So, those apple ring pods that we spoke about earlier, that buffalo bull is now feeding underneath the tree, picking up what the baboons have obviously been dropping. A nice old bull. To me, that's like a dangling candy in front of my face. 
not letting me eat it. It's awesome to see though. We'll sit here till he comes across. Even if it's for three days. <laughs> Check that bream one. This beast at the at and behind all that scrapper. So those bream are the Lundi pure pure breed Lundi black bream. Only occur in the southern part of Zimbabwe. And now all I want to do is fishing. This segment was brought to you by the Houston Safari Club Foundation. The bullet. The least expensive, most important part of your hunt. It's the only contact you have with the animal. Swift bonded core technology provides great accuracy, controlled expansion, high weight retention, and deadly terminal performance. Swift A-Frame, Scirocco, and the new Breakaway Solid. All bullets without equal. Available in components and loaded ammunition. Contact SwiftBullets.com for product availability. So the biggest thing that we also look at too here at Woodberries is it doesn't matter what type of animal it is or the size of that animal. Everybody brought it here because it's important to them. You know, when we're doing livestock stuff with habitat with grasses and bases and the wood that's there and the dirt that's there, all of those little bitty details make a huge difference in the end product. I guarantee you that you'll have it for life. This segment is brought to you by African Sporting Creations. Got some tracks up here, so I'm using my 416 Rigby. I think it's built in about 1992. It was a birthday present from my dad for my 21st a couple of years ago. So, yeah, good for elephant. I like to use it on elephant and, and buffalo, really. Everything else uses the 375. Shooting solids today, as you can see. Swifts. And I'm using my 375 HH. Solid up the spout. Yet, but we're going in on elephant balls, so no soft spot today, it's just solids. And as you can see, I've taken the scope of this weapon, um, mainly because of the close range we shoot at with the elephant. We want our clients to come and enjoy the traditional way of hunting, the ethical, traditional way, which is free roaming animals. No fencing, the animals can move from the park freely into the hunting areas and you, you're hunting it the traditional way. You're not running around in the back of a truck shooting animals in paddocks. And so the client gets a whole experience of how people were hunting 100 years ago. And then you use you, you trophy selecting and the, the favor is in the animal, without a doubt, because they, they have keener senses, better eyesight, hearing, better smell than us. We've just seen a very nice elephant. It's got good lens. He's got good thickness at this lip. Now it's just a matter of waiting to see whether he's going to cross where we saw about another 20 bulls dance, Jim. Patience game. I reckon he's bigger than 50. No, but it's far. It's a nice elephant. If you want an 80 pounder, you come for 5 days, 10 days. You might get lucky on the first day. I would always underestimate an elephant's ivory because obviously you can't always judge 100%, but it's always better to underestimate than to overestimate it. A nice bull. It's always better to be under and then you get a pleasurable weight afterwards than to be a very disappointing 10 pounds under. And it can happen. No one ever knows how big the nerve's going to be. Yeah, I would always rather just be a little bit under than over. From here, I'd say high 40s, high, high 40s, 50, that thing from here. York's told us it's, it's high 40s, maybe 50 pounds. There's so many elephant here, I don't think that's worth shooting. 
Look, we've got one more day. We run the risk of leaving without one, but that's hunting. I'm not here to kill. I'm here to hunt. I want to go closer just to look. And if it's not good one, we just leave it to the right. No problem. I haven't hunted one before, as I said, so I wasn't quite sure what to expect. Their senses are obviously incredible. Um, their eyesight might not be the best, but their hearing and smell certainly makes up for that. You know, with a buffalo having done so many, I, I was able to to sort of process the emotions and the, the approach. And from here, we'll probably go there with an elephant. It's a, it's a totally different ball game. This segment was brought to you by Right On Optics. We are a company of firearms professionals, hunters, soldiers, officers, and family. As part of the Right on Promise, we provide the best customer service, including an industry-leading warranty. We won't repair, we'll just replace. We believe a person's hard-earned dollar should buy quality optics at any price point. The Houston Spark Club is for anyone who likes to hunt. It's for the love of the outdoors. It's to give all of us as individuals a voice. Ever wanted to hunt whatever, wherever in the world, somebody in the club has done it and can point you in the right direction. We have met some of our very close friends through Houston Safari Club. I love the Houston Safari Club. I love the Houston Safari Club. I love the Houston Safari Club. Join the Houston Safari Club Foundation to increase your knowledge of the hunting world. This segment is brought to you by Swift Bullet Company. Just the thrill of getting so close to such an incredibly old and wise animal and being able to assess it from a, dis from a, from a close distance and, 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 and actually see it up close is absolutely incredible. We've decided we're gonna shoot this elephant bull. He's probably just about 50, but he has magnificent ivory, nice and long. So we've got one more day, so we're thinking we might take him now if he crosses. The heart rate was, was a big factor on that elephant bull. I, I, I haven't hunted one before, as I said, so I wasn't quite sure what to expect. I'm going to try and get up to this big tree. If he faces away, I'm going to put the sticks just waiting for him to do. And when you're so ready. My heart was, I could hear it in my ears. And if, that elephant bull made me weak at the knees, man. Reading an elephant's body movements is very important. If they know you're there, their tail will tend to come up a little bit. Their foot will sit at an angle, like kind of kinked. Is now you need to communicate with the guys behind you that there's no movement, quiet, until that bull relaxes again. Once he relaxes and you see everything goes back to normal, then you can carry on with the approach. This animal's about 20 yards away, as you'll see in the video, and I've gone and made a large crunch. Anyway, the elephant didn't run away, so I didn't feel too bad. Had it ran, run away, I would have felt terrific.
Come. Reload. Good job, boys. <laughs> oh man! The adrenaline on that, unbelievable. Hey! We got him. From a 2.30 wake up to take a chance at coming and getting a nice elephant, we had a day and a half left. And we've done it. Two beautiful buffalo and a very respectable elephant. Well done, guys. Thanks, man. Pleasure, boy. Nice ivory, man. Andy. This is Africa. <laughs> Yama Yaku Gocha is a traditional Zimbabwean song sung when you've shot a big animal and there's loads of meat to share. In communal or campfire areas like Mahenya where the animals actually belong to the community, it's always awesome to sing that song when driving through the village informing everyone that tomorrow there is going to be plenty of meat for everybody. <laughs> ah, these guys, the villagers, the local villagers are piling in for meat. It's unbelievable scenes. They're like hyena at the kill, they're like, from everywhere. <laughs> Just every time we would move, he would move into the opening and kind of freeze because when you're that close, they can pick up everything. Boy. And eventually we got a chance and we snuck in up behind him and I think he heard us eventually at the end there and he kind of turned and then you guys were ready. Boy. We count to three and then, and then shoot um, like we've done on the two buffalo so far and for the, for the past years. Um, so Alex said yeah, he had the 375, he said he was going to go for the brain. I was going for heart lung with a 416. to get a couple more shots in. I think we all put in a few as well. This bull just shot here, just off the, off the brain. He's gone, eh? Not far off. And uh, yeah, that's not far off at all. So for me, just an incredible experience. And uh, we, we're so fortunate to have to been able to be a part of this. So to York and his team and to Shangani Safaris, Thank you so, so much. Eh? We, we truly are blessed and um, we will certainly be back if the opportunity arises. And uh, we, we, we leave with this and, and two, two buffalo, which is, I mean, and it's a dream come true. 14 days to go. Yeah. 14 more days to go, obviously, in this different area. But f I mean, it, to beat this is going to be now and impossible. Yeah. I think, so. And he ended up going 58, 59. So, and it had a big nerve. So, yeah, like I said, you get that very nice, number at the end of it than a disappointing number. <laughs> We've been building the finest custom hunting rifles for almost 25 years. We have no assembly lines and promise to deliver a rifle that will exceed your expectations. Every Hill Country rifle is shot repeatedly in our 100 yard underground range and our accuracy is guaranteed with factory hunting ammunition. This segment was brought to you by Woodbury Taxidermy. This segment is brought to you by Hill Country Rifles. Everybody who watches the show knows I'm very, very passionate about conservation and including the villagers in, in hunting events like this and, and for them to get the, the benefit of the meat and, and a lot of the funds from, from what's paid by the Smith brothers is, is what it's all about. And you can see we've got quite a crowd that's gathered here. Being a Corona year, it's the first elephant of the year that's, and uh, the guys, a lot of these guys here wouldn't have eaten meat for months. It should be interesting to watch them all enjoy a lot of meat here and it's gonna be a bit of chaos, but have a look at this. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is social distancing African style. Corona is supposedly here, but uh, we don't see it. 
good social distancing practices in Africa. <laughs> You know, to see the sheer joy on the faces of, especially young children, in people who, who actually don't have much to be joyous about. Uh, it, 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 it just filled my heart with, uh, firstly, appreciation for what we all have, and secondly, that we can actually help. The guys are making fires right there and then, being innovative with sticks, putting the meat on to make a kebab, and eating right there. Up to this point, everything was going wonderfully and everyone was showing a lot of appreciation for the meat that they were receiving and there was a bit of law and order. Um, but slowly, as time went on, more and more and more people started to gather and, and slowly I saw the balance of meat to people become, there were more people than there was meat. And I could tell it was only a matter of time before, before the chaos really started. I've never ever seen anything like that in my whole life. My goodness me. Crazy. Some hungry people here. Yeah. What's gonna be left? Nothing. Literally nothing. I think there's gonna be... They even take the leg bones. The only thing that's left is the ivory for us. There's nothing else left. It's unbelievable. That's why hunting works. I was discussing with the guys why uh, Hunting is the best form of conservation. You'll never stop poaching yeah. when you see the hunger in these people. Never. If you take photographs of that elephant, it's no value to the locals. No value at all. It might be to the operators, but they, when you look at the hunger here, they, 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 they're, they're going to poach those animals. If you add value like this, they'll look after them, and when the hunters give them the meat like this, they, in essence, are investing in themselves by conserving the wildlife. It's the only way it can work, in my humble opinion. Next time on This Is Africa, professional hunters Dalton Tink in York Marae hunt for tuskless elephant and Cape buffalo on the wild shores of Lake Kariba in Zimbabwe's magnificent Ome Safari area.